Now, the bile, the fate of the bile. Now we have got bile canaliculus. This, this is the bile canaliculus. Bile, bile is the juice. Juice produced by liver is called bile juice. It is gold and yellow in color or greenish in color. So this is produced by hepatocytes and it is released into bile canaliculus. Minute canals are called canaliculus. From there the bile is entering into smaller bile ducts. And not seen in the diagram, it enters into smaller bile ducts. The smaller bile ducts present in each of the lobe combine together to form one left hepatic duct and one right hepatic duct because there are two major lobes are present. So we can see left and right hepatic ducts. So finally, the smaller bile ducts, the smaller bile ducts present in each lobe combine together to form the left and right hepatic ducts. Left hepatic duct the right hepatic duct. So from each lobe one hepatic duct originate and both of them combine together. And after they combine together it is called as common hepatic duct. So both of them combine together to form common hepatic duct. Bile produced from hepatocytes is released into small bile canaliculus and from the bile canaliculus the bile present in each lobe all the bile canaliculus combine together to form smaller bile ducts all the smaller bile ducts present in one lobe combine together to form one hepatic duct. One on the right side, one on the left side. Both of them combine together to form a common hepatic duct. Now we have a gallbladder. Gallbladder. Gallbladder is a small sac like structure. Dimensions are around 8 cm by 4 cm. It's a small sac like structure, 8 cm by 4 cm. It is present beneath the right lobe. So you can see somewhere there, you can see this is the gallbladder. It's present beneath the right lobe, beneath the right lobe. And it has a space to enclose around 50 ml of bile. Bile is temporarily stored inside gallbladder but has the capacity to increase the secretions, can store the secretions up to 100 ml at times. It's not only storage, some modification also occurs. Water is removed, electrolytes manipulated in, in case of gallbladder. So the bile juice which is entering into gallbladder is different from the slightly different from the bile juice which is leaving the gallbladder. Nevertheless, from gallbladder, from gallbladder originates a cystic duct. So there is a cystic duct. That duct is called a cystic duct. So gallbladder is a small sac like structure present beneath the right lobe from the gallbladder originates a cystic duct. The cystic duct goes and combines with the common hepatic duct. Both of them combine with each other. And it forms 
a common wild duck. It forms a common wild duck. The common bile duct combines with pancreatic duct. Now on the other side we have pancreas. That's pancreas. So from pancreas comes a small duct. That's called pancreatic duct. Yeah. So that's pancreatic duct. So common bile duct and pancreatic. Pancreatic duct is coming from pancreas. It's coming from pancreas. So both of them they combine together and forms the final duct, hepatopancreatic duct. It is called hepatopancreatic duct, also called ampoule of beta. So both of them they combine and forms a duct. The duct is called ampoule of weight. I repeat this. See, this is one hepatic plate. Each hepatic plate contains two rows of hepatocytes. Each row is called hepatic cord. In between two hepatic cords, you can see small bile canaliculus. Several bile canaliculi combine together to form smaller bile ducts. All smaller bile ducts present in one lobe combine together to form a hepatic duct. One on the right side, one on the left side. But both of them combine together to form a common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct combines with the cystic duct coming from gallbladder and forms a common bile duct. The common bile duct is joined by the pancreatic duct. The pancreatic duct, the pancreatic duct combines with common bile duct to produce hepatopancreatic duct. It is called hepatopancreatic duct. Hepatopancreatic duct is also called ampoule of Veta. Pancreas, from pancreas, pancreatic duct. Pancreatic duct combines with common bile duct and forms hepatopancreatic duct. Hepatopancreatic duct is also called as ampoule of Veta. Ampoule of Veta opens into duodenum. It opens into the second half of duodenum. Now, at this junction, at this junction, that means where common bile duct is combining with the pancreatic duct, common bile duct, pancreatic duct combines together to form hepatopancreatic duct in that area. That area you will see sphincter of body. It is called sphincter of body.